Yes, you may now be seated. Who is it who today supports Sarah as she joins her heart and life to Troy? Her mother and father. Thank you. <laughs> wow, you look amazing. <laughs> Welcome, friends, family, and loved ones, all who come in peace to witness the union of Sarah Hutchins and Troy Jones. We are gathered here in nature where trees and rock and big open sky are so obviously connected. And this easily reminds us of the interconnection that we all share. We are here today to celebrate with them and to rejoice in their triumph as they proclaim their love for one another and the bond their souls have formed together. Today, we pause to reflect upon those who have our character molded our spirits, and touched our hearts. Sarah and Troy lovingly recognize and thank their families for their support and guidance that have led them to become who they needed to be to find each other. Our couple would like to especially remember and honor today Sarah's father, David Hutchins, who is no longer with us physically, but who resides in our hearts and memories, and all others who are with us in spirit. To begin, I would like to share this reading, The Art of Marriage, by Wilfred Arlen Peterson. In love and marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you, at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other one for granted. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together, facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers in the entire family. It is doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It is speaking words of appreciation and dem demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is not looking for perfection in each other, but cultivating patience, understanding, a sense of humor, the capacity to forgive and forget. It is providing each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is finding room for things of the spirit. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, dependence is mutual, and the obligation is reciprocal. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. Sarah and Troy, as you come this day to affirm your love and commitment to one another, may you always remember to value each other as special and unique individuals and live each day that you may share it together. As from this day forward, you will each be each other's home, comfort, and sanctuary. Troy, Will you embrace Sarah as your wife, as your companion and best friend for life? Will you treat her with love and devotion 
honor, and respect? Will you stand by her in time of leisure and in time of work? Will you honor her goals and dreams and help her fulfill them? If so, please answer, I do. I do. Sarah, will you embrace Troy as your husband, as your companion and best friend for life? Will you treat him with love and devotion, honor and respect? Will you stand by him in times of leisure and in times of work? Will you honor his goals and dreams and help him fulfill them? If so, please answer, I do. I do. Love you, baby. This is so exciting. <laughs> My beautiful baby. Sarah and Troy have chosen to include the tradition of the hand fasting ritual into their wedding ceremony today. They have chosen to read their intimate vows in private, but wish to share the essence of those vows in front of loved ones today. The hand fasting is an ancient Scottish and Irish wedding ritual in which the couple's hands are tied together as a symbol of their lives being joined together. It is the origin of the, say, of the saying, tying the knot and the bonds of matrimony. We have three chords today, one representing the Jones family, one representing the Hutchins family, and one representing the tying of the two together. Your hands placed over one another represent your hearts. The ribbon and rope and cord represents the beliefs which bind them together. As this knot is tied, so are your lives now bound. These are the hands of your best friend, strong and full of love for you, 
that are holding you on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years and with the lightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief temporarily comes your way. These are the hands that will countless time wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow, and tears of joy. These are the hands that will hold you tight as you struggle through difficult times. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. These are the hands that will lift your chin and brush your cheek as they raise your face to look into eyes that are filled with overwhelming love for you. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. May this knot of love remain forever tied, and may these hands be forever unified. Just slip your hands in. You have made your vows, which are promises for the married life that you are beginning right now in this moment. We witness and bless your vows for the lifetime of your marriage. And so we come to the rings, the final ritual in a wedding ceremony to make your commitment tangible. Your rings are the physical representation of the promises you have made to one another today. They symbolize the sanctity of your marriage and are a constant reminder of your love. May we please have the ring for Sarah to give to Troy. Sarah, this ring is a circle of strength with no beginning and no end and with no point of weakness. May this ring be a constant reminder of the promises you have made today. Please place it on Troy's finger and repeat after me. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. I give you this ring as a symbol. I give you this ring as a symbol. Of our commitment. Of our commitment. And our connection. And our connection. May we please have the ring for Troy to give to Sarah. <laughs> Troy, this ring is a symbol of strength with no beginning or end and with no point of weakness. May this ring be a constant reminder of the promises you have made today. Please place it now on Sarah's finger. And please repeat after me. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. I give you this ring as a symbol 
I give you this ring as a symbol of our commitment of our commitment and our connection and our connection. Your ring exchange is complete. You have made your promises for your married life. You have given your consent in marriage. With the witness of your friends and family and the blessing of love that connects us all, you are now joined together in this most sacred commitment. May the two of you be blessed with a lifetime of health, wealth, love, success, and happiness. May you continue to support one another in the wonderful way that you already do. May your love and connection grow exponentially over the years, and may your life together flourish as you walk the journey of it hand in hand. By the power vested in me by the state of Tennessee, and by the power of your own commitment and choice within, I now pronounce you married. You may now kiss. And if you could get your bouquet back. It is my joy and pleasure to now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Jones. Congratulations.